Welcome, this is Integrated Math 3 practice test for TinReady or TCAP or whatever. Question number 9, we're in a calculator usable section, subpart 2, which is good here because that's what I'm going to do. The number of people in thousands applying for medical benefits per week in a particular county can be modeled by the equation d of t equals 2.5 sine times the quantity 0.76t plus 0.3 plus 3.8 where t is time in years since January 2004. Based on the equation, what is the maximum number of people in thousands? And uh, they say d is in thousands, so that's convenient. You don't have to do any little modifications or anything. Um, applying for medical benefits per year in this county, right? Your answer in the space provided. Now, the thing for me, when I have any time I have a maximum, if I'm allowed to use a calculator and I can graph it, that's definitely what I'm going to do. So. That's what I'm going to show you here. A big thing you may have to deal with is if you've been working with graphs a lot lately, or sorry, if you've been working with sine, cosine, tangent functions, especially if you've been working on things with bright triangles, you've probably been doing them in degrees. So check your calculator when you're graphing in this function style, you probably want it to be in radians. So there's radians. That's important. Make sure you've set it. Otherwise, it'll give you the wrong answer. Essentially, if it says degrees, do it in degrees. Otherwise, radians. 2.5 sine. And the only difference between what I'm going to type in and what's written here already is instead of t, I'm just going to use x, because that's the generic input variable that they use for this calculator. Your calculator may vary. So I'm going to graph here. And as any sine curve, it goes to a maximum value and then goes to its minimum and then back to its maximum and averages out. So I'm just going to find a maximum value anywhere on there. It'll be the same all the way through. So I hit second and then trace to do that. Maximum. So it'll ask me some questions. Left bound just means where's a point that's left of the highest point? And I'm going to say right there. Then it says right bound, so I need to give it an area that's right of where I want it to be. If you try to do left and right and you somehow make it so right that you go to another peak, it makes weird answers. So just focus on one at a time. And then guess is like, tell me basically which one you want. And as you can see, I get x value of 1.6721 and a y value of 6.3. A maximum value is always the y. Specifically in this case, the d sub t, so t is your input value, that's time and year, so that's what's going on this way. This is like saying 1.6721 years after, and then it'll happen again, by the way, later on. Um, but the d part would be people in thousands, that value is y, so 6.3, so my final answer for number 9 is 6.3. And you're done, that's all you need to do for that problem.